good morning today let us see half header half subtractor full header full subtractor first let us see half header half header is a arithmetic circuit which adds two bits at a time here zero is one bit and one is another bit first i'll draw the block diagram for the half header half header it has two input one is a input another is b input and it has two output one is sum output another is carry output now i'll explain how we are adding two bits since two inputs are there we have four possibilities that is 2 power n here n is the number of input since it is 2 we have 2 power 2 which is equal to four possibilities first possibility is 0 plus 0 now 0 plus 0 as like in the decimal 0 plus 0 is 0 only now 0 is called sum 0 is called sum now next possibility 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 again it is it is 1 here 1 is called sum another possibility 1 plus 0 the result is 1 now 1 is called sum and fourth possibility 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 here it is 1 0 here you have to remember it is a binary addition if you add in decimal 1 plus 1 is 2 but which is equal to 1 0 in binary therefore 1 plus 1 is 1 0 here this 0 is called sum and this 1 is called carry this one is called carry these are all the four possibilities of addition of 0 and 1 here let us take 0 as a input and 1 as a b input this can be transformed into a table a input b input these are all the input and output we have sum output and carry output two inputs a and b two output sum output and carry output now i am writing these possibilities in the table first 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 all the possibilities now i am adding and i am writing sum and carry 0 plus 0 0 as like here and 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 10 here in the 10 0 is the sum 1 is the carry therefore 0 is written in the sum and 1 is written in the carry here in first three possibilities there is no carry therefore you write zero now what we have to do is we have to implement this table in a circuit for this we have to write the min term of these ones appearing in the output 
now for this one min term is you can write min term here min term here it is a bar b that is you have to write the min term for this one only and for this you have a b bar here min term is not required here min term is not required now for the carry we have only one one therefore you write the min term for this it is ab the min term for carry is ab now you write the equation for sum output and carry output equation for sum equal to i'll write this a bar b plus a b bar a bar b plus a b bar and equation for carry equal to this one ab now we have to draw or design circuit for this input as well as output as you know this is a xor equation xor gate equation and this is mere and gate i'll erase this this is a input and since a bar is also required i connect through a not gate and this is a b input and one not gate if you take input here it is a a input if you take input here it is a bar if you take input here it is b input and it is b bar now in this equation a bar b it is a and gate therefore first i'll design using basic gate and xor gate and then using nand gate first is that is this one and gate it is a bar b therefore i'll take connection from this a bar and b i'll take connection from this b and gate connect this and second term a b bar i'll take this term a b bar therefore i am connecting here a b bar now two and gates i have connected two and gates these two and gates are or here as you know plus means it is a or gate therefore i draw one or gate here now connect these two now this is the sum output this is the sum output and for carry it is a and gate a and b therefore you connect one and gate to a input and to b input now this is carry now this is the simple circuit for half adder you are giving two inputs and you are getting two outputs one is sum output and 
carry out port. This is using basic gates only. Now I can change this for this XOR gate also. Just do this. XOR gate as you know A bar B and this one. Now the XOR symbol is which is equal to A XOR B. Therefore XOR symbol already we have seen this is the XOR gate. Now you have to give A input and you have to give B input to this. Now you are getting here A XOR B. And gate remains same. Therefore, you are getting some output using XOR gate and carry output using AND gate. This is XOR gate. Now we can do using this XOR gate using NAND gate also. I have to erase it and I have to redraw again. XOR gate can be designed using four NAND gates. See, if you draw, if you watch and if you draw like me, then it is easy for you to design in the exam. Just draw four AND gates. like this. Remember to put circle, then only it is a NAND gate. Now connect these two and connect this output to here and this output to input of this. Now this input is a input and this is B input. As you know, AND gate has two inputs. You give this one to this and this one to this. Now here, this is an AND gate, two inputs are coming. It is AB complement, AB bar. And as I explained in XOR gate, Output here you are getting A XOR B. This is the sum output. And for carry you require AB. That means here AB bar is there. We want to remove this bar. Therefore, we require one more NOT gate. Since we are designing using NAND gate only we have to do NOT gate using NAND gate only. Therefore, take one connection from this and do NOT gate using NAND gate only. That means you are connecting two inputs together. Now this NAND gate becomes NOT gate. Now you are getting here it is AB bar due to this NOT gate, this bar is removed, complement is removed. Therefore, you are getting AB. That means you are getting some output and carry output. Now, this is the circuit for half adder using NAND gate.